Hi, it's John Coach to Mace R&D. Well, today we have a Lotus 907 block on our mill, and uh, we've been asked to install a Lotus 90 or 910 girdle on the thing, so that uh, the guy will be able to take this thing out and race it. And we're also we've also been asked to install some hollow dowels on each one of the mains. So that's what we're getting ready to do right now. We're going to show you how that's done. As you can see, the setup on this is uh, kind of uh, hard if you don't have all the stuff that you need here. You're going to have an angle table, and then you got to put the block on there. you got to get it dialed in. you got to find all the location of your bolt holes. But once you get it all set up, it's going to be relatively easy to do. And we're going to show you how it's done. I'm going to start by drilling our first hole. Set the depth on this. The reason I have these bolts in here, these studs and nuts, is so we can hold the girdle in place and then uh, we'll do these six. We'll put bolts and nuts on these, we'll clamp it down, and then we'll come back and do these final four. Well, I've changed out the drill bit to a reamer which is the final size of the dowel that's going to be going in there. One of the questions you might have is, uh, geez, you're going to have such a big hole in there, aren't these bolts going to be kind of floating around in here? Uh, yes, they are, but you got to remember that the dowels are going to locate the um, girdle to the block. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a um, little cap up here out of steel which should be big enough for the bolt to uh, go on and it will actually take up the difference in bolt size to the bore size that we have here.
to go ahead and get the rest of the holes done and then we'll be back. Well, I just got these machined and uh, pulled out of the tumbler. And these are the collars that are going to be going in the block here like so. And of course, the studs will go back in there, then the nuts and another lock washer will go on top of this. A wavy washer, actually. So that's how that gets fixed. And just another part of the process. I've taken and put the uh, sleeves in here and tightened everything down. And now we're ready to do the last four holes. That's it for the drilling. Now we'll set up the reamer and uh, ream them out. Okay, well we're going to ream these out. Now I've already installed all of the uh, dowels in the front and rear and the center mains. So we are aligned correctly. that our little sleeves go in here. Looks like that'll fit just fine. Perfect. So, hey, anyway, we're going to finish this up and then it's off to the line hone, to uh, be a line hone because we're going to enlarge the main bearing housing boards on this for Dodge main bearings. Uh, we can't find the stock bearings and besides putting this new lower half of the block on, uh, we have some issues with size, and so we're going to have to make everything oversized. Anyway, if you have a Jensen Healy or Lotus that needs to have this done, give me a call here at Costa Mesa R&D. We'll see you soon.